Okay, so today we're talking about which wings would be more homophobic in today's society. And as my notes say, this is a serious discussion, like a 100% artist discussion, okay? Yeah. Um, so. Of course, the topic of homosexuality is not present in the first three seasons of Wings Club because we refuse to acknowledge the horror of the other seasons, okay? What the and I will not force an interpretation with a topic that is not present in the original text. I will try to read its social subtext through the tools of Freudian psychoanalysis. And you can see that I got that Baker babe. So first of all, let's talk with the tricks. Like, one may think that they were going to be very homophobic because they are like evil, but they are not going to be homophobic because they are actually all lesbians. They are three lesbians. As we can see they are clearly in an open relationship, uh, all three together. I'm rolling with the LGBT. So they are not going to be homophobic. Look at how the hell they were slaying in 2004. They were so lesbian. Look at Darcy's cheap AliExpress glasses. That's pure slay! That's pure slay! Of course, they are not the only lesbian. As we can see, Musa and Aisha, aka Lila, are in a relationship. Um, Musa is always having a lot of troubles with her boyfriend. Definitely not, because she doesn't like his candy cane. And Aisha tries to help her spending time with Musa alone, like when nobody's watching, like mmm. Stella, of course, is not going to be homophobic because she's very feminine, she is into makeup, she likes shopping, like she's exactly that kind of girl that would love to have a gay bestie to talk about Brandon's big pin. Flora and Dagna, they would never hate. Flora, look at Flora, she's so beautiful. Her design is probably one of the best. She's so beautiful, so vintage, so dark of flowers, she would be like very intellectual, very culturated, she would be an ally, exactly as Tecna, who is clearly a drag queen. Let's get sick, so we have only one character left, and it's Bloom. So of course Bloom is going to be the homophobe. She's exactly that kind of person. She's a narcissist, first of all, and she has some deep, untreated insecurities. And I'm going to tell you why she has insecurities. She's insecure because she knows that her boyfriend Skies has regularly sex with his roommate, Brandon. Damn, Brandon, why are you not real? Of course, living in such a society, Brandon and Sky would have to hide their relationship and they would become extremely homophobic to hide their fragile masculinity, to hide their secret passion, and to hide the huge interest of Brandon in wearing jockstraps. Bloom is not completely stupid, so she would actually understand what is going on and she would um, try to find a solution, but she would not be able to do so because of homophobia and of taboos. So, so she would direct all her energy in hating the gays and in trying to destroy them and to burn them alive. Of course, the dragon that she sometimes evokes is clearly a phallic object and it's the symbol of her wanting to possess physically Sky, but at the same time of the uh, knowledge of his betrayal that pains her deeply because she knows that no matter how he will lie to her, their union will never be complete because she is not into girls. She goes so far that she actually puts a spell on Musa in the third season to actually make her straight. Also, I can say it, I don't care if it's going to be controversial, Bloom, your taste man is trash. Why do you choose Sky over that intelligent, smart, wise, beautiful, tasty piece of meat that is Brandon? So I thank you deeply for having analyzed with me this wondrous masterpiece of gay culture and I really invite you to see my other videos. For example, the one where I'm professionally reviewing a scene called video. Bye!